women's bantamweight matchup between Chris Cyborg and Ronda Rousey. All right, here she is, big time feel. No surprise there, the UFC Hall of Famer and former women's bantamweight champion, the great Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is a box office hit. Every time her name sits atop the marquee, the stars come out. Yes. From her UFC debut with the quick submissions to Jean LaBelle standing next to the octagon with the timer. Everything was always a spectacle, and Ronda had the skills to back it up. I remember being at weddings and bar mitzvahs back in 2011, getting texts from guys like Sean Shelby. Dude, you gotta see what Ronda Rousey just did, and it didn't take her long to enter the mainstream, successfully defended the title several times. Ronda Rousey, back and perhaps with a point to prove here tonight. Well, it's amazing to think what could have been and how long it took Chris Cyborg to finally get to the UFC in 2016. Largely, she has made up for lost time. This is as intimidating a physical freak of nature as we have in the women's game. How do you make up for lost time? You put a stamp on everything that you do. And that's what Chris Cyborg did, winning the UFC title, even going all the way back to strike force. Cyborg was already considered one of the greatest mixed martial artists in the world. You know when you watch a Cyborg fight. You're about to watch brutality. And until Amanda Nunes matched that, everybody else just folded. Chris Cyborg is a dominant force of nature, and she will look to show that this evening. She had an unbeaten streak from 2005 to 2018. It will go down in history as one of the greatest runs the women's game has ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Chris You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. This fight was actually finally made. A lot of us felt like Ronda Rousey wasn't going to be able to enjoy retirement without at least trying to conquer Chris Cyborg. She gets her back to me. She finally gets the opportunity. Cyborg kept calling her name, calling her name, calling her name. And at her core, Ronda Rousey is a competitor. So when she gets... Oh, that's a nice scramble by her there. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, man, head kick lands. 
All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely broken. That is how you scramble, folks. Great punch. Oh, did she get tagged by that combination there? And unless they're going to give her a hit here between rounds, and this might just be a matter of time. career. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop to this contest. At two minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Nice to see this young woman get a chance to exhale as she celebrates with her coaches. You've won world titles in two divisions, but you're not calling your shot the way she is. She said, I'm going to win this fight by submission. 